Do you sense an urgency to do the will of God? Amen. Is there a will burning inside of you now to say, Lord, I just want to do your will? Yes, yes. yes. I'm tired of church as usual. I'm, I'm tired of yes. coming yes. to the house of God, hearing a good word. Yes. And then when I go out into the world, they can't even see the light or the power of God in my life. All right. I'm tired All right. of just yes. church as usual. Yes. Right. I'm tired of the commonness. Yes. 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 I'm ready to move yeah. in the supernatural. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to see. Yeah. Oh God, what to do in my life? I'm ready to see. Yeah. Yeah. You're working in me. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. Is that your prayer? Yeah. Is that your request? Thank you, Jesus. All right. Oh yeah. I'm tired of the change not coming because I won't believe. Oh yes. I don't just need to hear a word from God. <laughs> I need to do that word. Oh, yes. That's for God. Yes. Right. I have to do it. Yes, sir. The Bible declares that just don't be hearers of the word. Yes. There are many, 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 many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of fellowships in the earth. Uh -huh. There's much being taught and there's much being preached. But can we just be honest right here? How much of the kingdom have we seen revealed in the earth? All right, all right. If we just be honest. The works of Christ at large. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We come and we experience the power of God. And, and in his presence, you know, there's, there's such a submission. You just, in his presence, there's just such an act of just willingness. Uh -huh. and, and, in the, and in the glory comes out of us an expression of, 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 of gratitude and, and thanksgiving. And, and then we begin to start saying things to the Lord that, Lord, I'm going to do your will. Yes. And, 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 and Lord, you can count on me. And, yes. and Lord, you, if you can use anybody, you can use me. I'm talking about in the midst of the glory. Right. We start expressing these things to God yes. in the midst of the glory. Yes. But soon, just that quick, as soon as we leave from out of his presence, it's the same old thing again. I know y'all don't want to deal with truth. Can we just go where you really are? Is there a longing for God? Is there a real longing? John the Baptist, he baptized, Jesus was his first cousin, but he baptized the Lord. And after he saw him coming out of the wilderness, the Bible says that, that the Spirit of the Lord ascended and descended upon him like a dove. And the Father voice spoke out and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Yes. Yes. John said, behold, the Lamb of God that taken away the sins of the world. Yes, come on. Sir. Come on. And then in a moment of truth, when they brought him into captivity, brought him into the prison, he had to send the disciples and ask him, said, I want you to go and ask him, is he the one? Come on. Or should we look for another? My God. That's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My God. Right in the midst of a revelation from God. Yeah. If you're not careful in your sufferings, you will doubt. Yeah, I know it. Doubt will immediately come into your experience with God. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Is he the one? Or should we look for Jesus said, he told the disciples of the seven and, and, and the twelve that was there at the moment. He said, listen, he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood, he got parts with me. And the seven that heard, they said, uh-uh, that's crazy. 
He talking about cannibalism. Uh -huh. I, 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 we can't deal with that. We got to leave him. Uh -huh. Eat his flesh and drink his blood. Uh -huh. I don't understand that doctrine. I don't understand that teaching. That's crazy. Uh -huh. That's madness. And the Bible says that when they heard these things, uh -huh. those words that were spoken out of our Lord's mouth, when they heard these things, the Bible said that they departed and walked with him no more. That's right. But they were disciples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. But they were disciples. Yes. But they were challenged with a revelation that they never heard before. Right. But if they would have stayed there, they would have understood. But look what Jesus did with the posse. He turned to them and he said, uh, will you always, uh, uh, would, you, would you also uh, 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 go? See, let me tell you something. Many people have moved out of fellowships because of the majority. All right. All right now. Yeah, when they see the majority, they, they got to be something to this. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, after all, you know, look, look at the, you can look at that leader there and the one that was on this board and one that did, and all of them just leaving. It got to be something to this. Uh-huh. say, will y'all also go away? Mm. And Peter said, Lord, to whom? <laughs> Shall we go to? Because you got the words to eternal life. Yes. <laughs> but John said, ask him if he's the one. Be the one. <laughs> or should we look for another? <laughs>